if you had to give some advice or make some recommendations to the executives of the 12 tribes of Israel parent body in Jamaica, what would you say? I don't know, that's a tall one, but I would say, please, put Larry in check. Don't sell out. Don't s let us not sell each other and give away our legacy. Let us hold tight and hold strong and fight to, and unite. we got to bring back the monarchy and put, uh, and put certain things straight. You, you know what I mean? Do what we said we were going to do. So that is the question now, if you think that is possible. With all the water that has flown under the bridge for you personally, from the time you had to step down to all of what is happening now, um, what is your opinion of what's happening with the 12 tribes of Israel today? I don't know what is happening with the 12 tribes of Israel today, but since I was a member from New York, can I say it that way? Mm -hmm. like a club. It is shattered, it is dismantled. Larry Renta writes in the book that Gadman told him that if he's not in charge, he must close the organization. I don't know. But then, mm -hmm. how we started and the unity we had, I see, to me, it's dismantling. It's dismantling. You know, for the first seven years, we did so much reasoning as Virgin and Sister I was talking about that season of my sister. You know? When we, when we first gathered, mm. we don't know, it's just reasoning on a Friday night and, you know, reasoning. Positive reasoning. Reading about the book and liberty and Christ and even tendencies and your learning and your reasoning it's as if that no longer is it is it exists it is replaced with who doing what and who not doing what and you know personal menangering mm. that take away from the spirit of love and peace because those kind of things so too much discord but i think just like the book, you know, it, it is like, um, like the book is cre what is written to create confusion and discord and mix up and problems. This book by Larry this you're talking. This book by Larry, that little by little Rastafari will bear such a negative name. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We get confused and mix up because the colonialists and the white man or whatever and i'm not trying to be it's not racist it's just facts you know and it's a lot of brainwashing that use those things you understand to divide us and have us against each other and start to see hierarchy of things like larry now is an overseer then he may he put Lorna as international diner so once you go international then you have local and then once you go local, you have what? Worker. And then all this, then you have ov overseer. So then you have to put a foreman in place. And then, you, you, you know, we're going right, we're going right back. With the lynchism? With the lynchism, you know? And the sacrilege, we're going right back. <laughs> you know, we need to cut that out. And fear no man, because God is with us. Fear no one. I don't know why no one just need. Larry is just a man. Larry is we. Is we in make, power. Yes, and make him who he is that he become. He became so bolstered now that his ego has taken hold. You understand? And it's become monstrous. But let us not forget who he is. Who is that same person that when we went to 22nd Street? He was living in this little dingy, dark dungeon apartment. And his role at the time, he used to be, he said, which he was proud of, a model. He used to model speed of sw swimsuits for men, him and his buddies. And that was his world. 
You know what I mean? I don't know how he ended up reach, realizing now and migrating or going to Jamaica. He saw an opportunity. And I guess we allowed him in because he got to Jamaica so he's a human rights lawyer. And then he get him, he got one stand up hill meeting as I guess and then get him the Jews book and then come back to America and start and, and says him start an organization. And then he do all these different trips, over 15 countries. But forget and about him for a little bit now. It would seem what the situation you just outlined now would make it seem like Rasta on a whole and 12 tribe in particular are in a kind of dilemma right now. It doesn't sound like a, a pretty picture you just painted a while ago. Like we are in trouble as an organization or as a people. We're in trouble because we make a mistake and it is only human to make mistakes. And once we recognize the mistake and we are able to address it okay then, then there is a hope for things oh, to be better oh yes oh yes but if we don't address it and we keep allowing it to fester you know if we may be gone but then we have the generations to come mm -hmm. and like i said they'll be calling upon us as our as their ancestors to help but we are already weakened because we allow these atrocities to go through. Mm. Yeah. We really weakening, we, we think we're being, like a brethren said to me, well, I don't want to say anything to Larry, no. I don't want no animosity with no one. But then the brethren is animal to me, I feel now, it's, uh, it's okay to have animosity towards me because Larry writes so many lies about me that you know is not true. But you're not looking to defend the truth because you don't want to have a, a, no animosity against the one who is telling the lie. Because the truth is not a, is, is a defense, you know. Oh, so the truth is not only... An offense. It's oh. a defense. Oh, the truth is not yeah. an offense. The truth is a, a defense. defense. It's not only, you know, you play the offensive role because you have to defend. Yes. You understand? Hear them and lyrics it's, And it's not a sin. Yes, it's certainly it, it not a, a sin. It is all right. Yes. Because for all the years, we turned the cheek. Because we really allow Larry to do so many things. Because I remember when, we came, when I came back from Ethiopia, I don't, I don't know why he wouldn't want to work with me, but one of the things we, and many of us saw, was that we needed to, we wanted to do more because what's the sense in just a key dance and celebration? What, what you really doing? What you really doing? Mm? Who we sending? Because when we send even cars, maybe, but we're not nurturing him, we just send him so. Send him to Ethiopia, Ethiopia. without no support. Without no support. Okay, yeah. Crippling. Yeah. Crippling. You understand? So now we go and we see, you know. Because we all went and we say, and we need to be doing more. And that is the problem. He have the last word, so he said, and everyone alone to have the last word. And no, we're not going to do it that way. We're not doing that. That evening get to the point, and I heard, unfortunately, I wasn't in New York at the time. I was living, I was living there, and I was already thrown off to it that way. That even the brethren now got ill and needed to come to America for medical reasons. They didn't have the money, but them have the money to keep the dance and the celebration. And Larry was traveling all over the place and staying at other brethren and sisters and not even spending his money. It's our money. But they couldn't come and, they couldn't bring him for the medical reason the brethren died. The brethren who start the school. In Ethiopia. In Ethiopia, Carl Zebin. Because when I went there in 84, he didn't have any children there. He was teaching the children there, the Ethiopians and all alike. He didn't teach me how to count and don't Listen, Flippins taught too, but Flippins also had a big family. But Carl extended a little more because he had no children. You know what I'm saying? That is the start of the JRDC what school you are talking about. the JRDC school. That, the book should be taken off the shelves at any 
any means necessary and my and I'm not going to stop saying that and I hope others will realize that is not personal they have children they have generation do you want that to be your legacy for 18 years of my youth I gave to the organization you know when you're in your youth year mm -hmm. you find yourself invincible mm -hmm. so any test that come you can overcome it mm -hmm. you stand up for what is right by any means necessary because you believe in what you're doing hmm? you're having your children you love your virgin and sisters because i don't really remember any fussing and fighting but remember we are reasoning we don't always have to agree you know what i'm saying and we respect each one in their tendency. Why not the legacy of what be just what we did? And not, oh, even in the book, Larry taught that everywhere he'm going, it was police. But make me feel like he must be working with the Secret Service and them have to come and protect him because police, it's true. He must always bring police wherever I'm going with us. In New York? In New, that's what he was saying in the book. In New York, when he got to England, and the English going somewhere, he was there as police again. When he in Jamaica, police. But the police look like they're more securing him or following him. And preying on us. And devouring us. You know what I mean? <laughs> so if, he, if he's writing that to... to to insinuate, or insinuate that we are, are criminals. Ones. We are criminals. Oh, you understand? Because okay. he quickly said to learn how to respect authority. But our authority is God. But he write that, you know, he uphold respecting authority by having a better relationship with police. No, our authority is God. But it looked to me like everywhere he go, the police come and pray on us. Like he talk about when he was living in the Bronx. The police come and raid somebody else, another member, apartment, and take the sisters, but he was right there ready to give them pillow and a sandwich. While they rest, that's what he write, mm -hmm. while they go to, to jail for the overnight. So, I don't know, it's questionable. It's, you know, the book has so much lies in it that even when he's playing the hero, it more come in like the devil, <laughs> you know? It, it, 